Hi, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. I've got the 144 plate cell hooked up and running again. As you can see, this time I have taken out the uh, power block connectors so I could hook it up to a pair of PWMs. These are the uh, 40 amp advanced current limited PWMs. Um, they actually will run constantly at 50 to 60 amps. Um, like uh, they're over running over 40 right now. Both of them are nice and cool. Um, what I've done today is I've hooked up each stack of cells to one PWM. And each one of these PWMs is hooked up to a different power supply because I don't have enough power in my one Astron power supply to to get this up to where I wanted to. I wanted to get this up over 100 amps, but uh, my power supplies don't uh, put out enough voltage to get me up over that. Right now, it's running at. 11.64 volts and I need to get that over 12 to get achieve over 100, 100 amps so um, so what I wanted to do today is take a uh, measurement an MMW measurement at uh, running about 78 amps 80 amps Got my flute clamp on meter so we can get a real accurate measurement. Okay, clamp that on. I had it on the AC setting, that's what my problem was. Okay, there we go. Looks like we're drawing about 78 amps. And we've got 11.64 volts. I'm going to do a liter per minute test. Gonna set it zero there. Okay, in the cylinder over here, we've got a 500 milliliter bottle. And we're gonna start that test. Ready? Go. Okay, so we got 4.9 seconds. So we need to figure out our watts first. We have 70, 78 amps. And 11.64 volts. So 76 times 11.64, so we've got 884.6 watts, so now we'll take 500 milliliters divided by the time, which is 4.9. Times 4.9. We want to. Sorry, let's try that again. 500 divided by 4.9 times 60 seconds gives us 6.12 liter per minute. Divided by our watts, 884. 
equals 6.92. Take another measurement. That seems a little high to me. These things so that they're in there. Okay. Seventy seventy eight amps on the flute. Eleven point six two. So put seventy eight amps, eleven point six two. Let's measure this up and actually think that trade the bottle out for a one liter bottle. Got a mark. There we go. Got a mark on the one liter bottle where I've measured out exactly a thousand milliliters. Let that settle to the bottom. I'll try this again. Clock, and we'll start this right now. And you're coming up on the mark right now. Okay, so 10.8 seconds. That's a lot better on that one, but uh, efficiency has gone up a little bit at, at higher amperage than in our last video. Efficiency has gone up 6.13. I think that's a more accurate number. So the neat thing about this cell, what I'm seeing is the higher I make my amperage, the higher my MMW goes. If I lower this thing down to low amps, my MMW will go down. And it's usually with a, uh, a cell that has neutral plates, it's usually the opposite because of all the current leakage. There's very little current leakage in this cell. 6.0 and over is a little over 80% efficiency to Faraday. So it's looking pretty good. Another thing that um, this cell can do so let's say you have a tractor trailer that's on a 24 volt system. Each one of these cells is being run right now on 12 volts. If you were to put a jumper between these two terminals right here and run your power, power plus in, power negative out, 
you would turn this whole cell into a 24 volt cell. So it can run off 12 or 24 volt uh, systems. These PWMs, I also offer on my site. Like I say, they can go up to 60 amps. Um, they're uh, high efficiency PWMs. They use very little power to run them. That's why they don't get hot. This PWM here is 80 degrees. This one is running a little hotter. At 100 and looks like that one's running at 109. So they're running high high current through them. They're not getting not getting that hot. There is a small fan in it, but uh, they don't use any heat sinks. Just a small fan to uh, pull air through it. Uh, the MOSFET the MOSFETs it's got one MOSFET in it. it doesn't get uh, that hot. So um, this is the end of this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please ask. Um, I hope everyone liked this video. And uh, that's about it. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.